Lint Master Chocolate here and my friend Thomas is here to show us how to pair chocolates with some of our favourite beverages. I like this segment. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it really works amazingly well. So there's a couple of really sort of tricks that we could could uh, use mm -hmm. to actually get the best drink to go with, with our chocolate. Yep. Uh, but I think we should get straight into it. Absolutely. So when we're talking wine, uh, there's actually a really good pairing of a dark 70% cocoa chocolate and you need a wine that can sort of hold and support that sort of intense cocoa flavour. So maybe a Barossa Shiraz like this one? Wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. Actually, one of the really intriguing pairings with wine as well that nobody would think of is a light Pinot Noir with white chocolate. Like our white Excellence chocolate is absolutely amazing with something like a, like a Pinot, which you wouldn't think red wine, white chocolate. No way. But Shiraz and 70% cocoa is absolute yep. classic. Works amazingly well. All right, well, there's one for you. Thank you. And so what's the best way of tasting? Do you have the wine first and then the chocolate <laughs> well, or the other way around? I'm the chocolatier, so yes. I normally go chocolate first, but <laughs> we've done this with, like, wine wineries before yep. as well, and they, of course, go on the wine first. So really the best way is give the wine a sniff mm -hmm. and then go to chocolate. Okay, chocolate. So you still have your wine in the nose. And by the way, like, your nose is actually far more complex than what, it, what your palate is. So you pick all that up, let that melt, and then... Mm, this is a good job, isn't it? It is a very good job. <laughs> Shiraz and chocolate. Mm. It's a truly remarkable pairing. And now that you say that white chocolate and Pinot Noir, that's something that I really want to try too. Never heard of that one. Then moving on to everybody's best friend's coffee. Mm -hmm. Again, there's a little bit of coffee that actually works with a lot of different uh, different chocolates as pairings. One of my favourites is a really nice strong macchiato. Uh, you can even put a drop of milk in it, but something with that sort of picks up that fruitiness, that zestiness of the, the coffee beans. So excellence orange intense. So I'll let you have a, have a sure. try of this. A little bit of sip of the coffee and then the orange intense has actually got some really nice roasted almond slivers in there as well. It just sort of brings that earthiness together. Works fantastically well mm. with just a bit of that chocolate. Mm. Oh wow. It almost is like you have the coffee and then you chase it with the chocolate and it's a total perfume. That's right. You really get the essence of the chocolate and the flavours, the intense flavour of that orange. That is mm, fantastic. It sort of brings out the fruitiness in the coffee, I guess, as well. No? Yep. It really just sort Spot of on. levels it all out. Mm. Tea is also a really nice pairing and this mm. is sort of where we could almost go into, into milk chocolate territory. Okay. Maybe try a bit of Excellence Extra Creamy mm -hmm. with an Earl Grey tea. Right. But again, like if you go with something stronger in tea, like a, like a green tea with those grassy notes, you could almost sort of upgrade to something like a 70% excellence, which we could carry that as well. There we go. Mm. And Earl Grey tea has a really lovely floral flavour to it. That's right. Mm. And even especially if you put a drop of milk in, like a lot of people enjoy tea with a bit of milk, that really sort of cleans up that sort of caramel kind of flavour that you have in the milk chocolate as well. Thomas, at the moment I have this habit of having uh, dark chocolate with a green tea. Is that a good match? Oh, absolutely perfect, because that green tea is nice and strong, mm. has got sort of grassy notes to it as well. That works really well with something like a dark chocolate. Fantastic. Thomas, I've learnt a lot today about the pairing with our favourite drinks, but to be honest, my favourite would have to be Shiraz and dark chocolate. Chin chin. Salute. <laughs> Match made in heaven. <laughs>